doesn't he doesn't not want you to go in on him. He does that so you do that. He's a person that pulls triggers. Look at his career. George Bush doesn't like black people. Ran up on Taylor Swift as one publicity stunt after another. He that's his model is triggering you. The more just like Trump. Every time Trump says something racist and we hate it, somebody loves it. He's not talking for us. He's talking for the ones that love it, Trump. You understand what I mean? So it's the same thing. You know, that's why I don't pay him. Like, I already know with him, if uh, let's say he says, let's do something, and sends an order to somebody. If they get it right the first time, he's still going to say he don't like it because he's just troll. He's a troll. He got everybody dressing like a crackhead, bro. He's doing this shit on purpose. <laughs> That's why I be like, don't do that, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I know what you're doing. You're trolling. He walk around barefooted. He's trolling. He's like, watch this. I could get dudes to wear tights and barefoot. I'm like, I don't know you can do that one. But he, you know, I'm not saying we had that combo. I'm like, I, I, when I see it, I'm like, yo, he bugging, but I know he's playing. You know? He wants you to get at him. He yeah. does it on, why, why would he do the things he does if he doesn't want the reaction? But, and another thing I wanted to say to you, uh, Point, you box, right? Yeah. You know... That if you brace your face, the punch usually doesn't knock you out. It's the ones you don't see that knock you out. Mm -hmm. So that's why in life, if you walk around with your face out, my shit is braced because I know I'm going to get hit. So that's the thing. When you get into a ring, you know you're going to get hit. It doesn't mean you stop. It means you block, hit, or and then you hit back. Getting hit is part of the game. Yeah, I've been saying this about Kanye. A lot of things he be doing is just for a reaction. He likes to troll people. Even recently, he had got a titanium grill put in his mouth. And I saw all the comments where people were saying his breath was going to stink. And uh, why would he do that? He's going to get an infection and all this other stupid stuff. Knowing damn well that it's just a grill that can be removed just like any other. But, you know, he's the king of attention. It's no different from Soldier Boy or Blueface. Where they constantly say these wild things that go viral, all the blogs pick it up and y'all just eat it up. I know you, you don't even know what you're doing right now. Nigga, you set your bitch ass up. You wanna fight? You wanna this fight tonight, nigga? And it's the same difference, you know, uh, with anything else Kanye be saying and doing. Now, earlier in the interview, Dame Dash had mentioned that Kanye's bipolar. I do think that some of the things he says is triggered by that just a little bit, but don't get it twisted. It's still some type of trolling involved where he said to himself, yo, I can get people to dress like crackheads. I mean, the man was selling $100 Yeezy shirts with holes and rips in them, and them joints got sold out. So to think that he's doing this on purpose is wild, yo. And it's crazy to know that somebody will say something like that, like, yo, I bet I can have dudes dressing like this. But hey, welcome to 2024. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.